Okay, so as I was walking, I was getting more messages. <laughs> and you probably can hear it's bell or something going on. I don't know where that's from, but anyways, take a look. I'm on this big mound where the bikes go at the park. And I'm standing on top of it, and it looks pretty. Very pretty. So, the message was, it's, a lot of these messages, they're not like new messages. <laughs> Uh, I feel like, you know, I've been saying this for centuries, or well, maybe not, I don't know. I watch Muji a lot, so I highly recommend Muji, M-O-O-J-I. And so I really just, I feel like I had to get this message out of like, of like, I think I feel like a lot of us, a lot of people are awakening and going through the awakening process and there's, there's more and more people that are waking up and starting to like search themselves, search inwards, I guess. And I feel like um, my message was, it's like, who are you? You know, it's like beyond just the self. Hold on, I'm gonna sit down right now. This <laughs> mound of dirt. But like, who are you as a soul? Like not your roles, not your personality your likes your dislikes like that's all part of the your personality and your it's I'm not saying it's not important not who you are I'm saying to like it's like digging deeper and I feel like 2019 oh, for myself that was all about that uh, of going within a deep excavation within myself and lots of releasing and purging and, and discovering parts of myself. Not myself, self. Like Moody talks about the different, like he talks about the self versus like the egoic self, I guess, or the personality. Like I am this and I this is my job. And people ask you, who are you? You know, but it's like, who are you? Like what energies do you embody? Like I know I am love. I know I am consciousness. Like, I know these things to the core of my being. Like, I know, like, I play these roles as mother, as sister, you know, as, like, a spiritual teacher or whatever it is. Like, these are important, yes, but, like, who are you? <laughs> and I feel like a lot of people are asking those questions. And even my daughter, she's only nine, she's like, why are we here? What are we doing? <laughs> you know, it's important. So I'm not discounting the physical parts of it of like who you are or whatever but I feel like really being called to look outside the outside the box and look beyond the what we think we know I guess I'm even being pushed to that like of everything I have gone through and everything I've like healed and purged and this last year I still am being like look at this again look at this again so I really invite you to like, who am I? Like, who am I? Like, the core of who I am. What do I embody? Why do I, what do I feel like is my purpose here? And honestly, I mean, just doing these little walks and talks is what makes me joyful, makes me happy if somebody else can take a message that I receive and they can use it and that helps bring them up and inspiring others. And that's what brings, that's what brings me purpose and like finally just letting my light shine and really like not caring what other people think you know I really was a people pleaser and I'm really getting over that and I still find those parts of myself coming back and it's okay like love yourself through what are the process of awakening also just show yourself lots of compassion because and others as well but yourself so much compassion I think Matt Kahn said this um you don't need less love you need more like you need more love like more and more love and it's like you are love you are light you are um the a soul like source consciousness in this physical body in this vessel experiencing all you're experiencing for maybe lessons who knows maybe like so that you can grow so that you can go through these realizations but like who what what are you not really who like what are you like essentially or what when you walk into a room like what do you want to bring do you want to bring joy and laughter and happiness and like 
love and peace and like I feel like I'm also a walking activator. I activate people. I can see into the core of who they are, um, their soul, when, especially when I'm in a high vibration. Um, but yeah, like, just start asking yourself those questions. Like, I feel like it's more like energy. Like, I feel like I know who my soul is and I'm discovering more about my soul all the time. But it's like, my soul... It's a risk taker in a way, like an adventurer. Like honestly, my soul wants to do all these things, whereas my little personality can get in the way. So I have to step out of my own way to get, like starting something new like this channel. I was really nervous to, to do light language and all this other new stuff that might seem strange, but still doing it anyways. Like there's a call for everybody. Everybody has a part to play in the ascension and the awakening. And I just want everybody and just let you know that you are more than just a walking body like a person like you are a soul a beautiful soul and if you're just waking up or you're just wherever you are in your journey just show yourself love and compassion if your mind keeps these are just running programs or just running programs um so being mindful that's why mindfulness is such a big thing right now is so key is paying attention to what you're thinking or what's what programs are trying to run you like you're you're this and you're that like who told me this well you know i picked up this this belief and that's okay like i i'm aware of it so then once you become aware of it then it's like okay you know so click message i'm gonna get up it's getting cold but so that's the message about finding your soul like finding mm, yeah, like your soul's purpose. I'm just shining your light is purpose. That's another thing I was telling somebody at the women's circle. One, two, three. Uchi. <laughs> Uchi. I was telling somebody this, like just being, just being you and shining your light authentically is, is purpose, is your purpose, is part of who you are. Like everybody's shining their authenticity. And even when you don't know what that is, like, it doesn't matter. Like, everybody has some short sort of a light. They have a light to shine. So, where am I going? See, I'm walking into another... Where am I going? That's the question. <laughs> where are you going? Where, like, consciously. Remember, this is an inward journey, not an outward journey. Everything, you know, this beautiful world and everything that manifests in it, outside starts within it's truly truly the key and my mom is awesome author she wrote the source code her name is Jeanette Freeman if you want to check her out she just came out with her book the source code and it's about that that I am that I am I am is oh my god the birds let's see can you see that oh it's like flying right there I don't know if it's a I don't even know if you could see it but it was really cool. I saw a black and white bird, and I think it was like a, I don't know, but it was really significant because that's the exact bird that's on my new Divine Masculines deck that I'm making. So, I, I that's just another message. Okay, bye.